gonna make some guac just before this video starts. I've only eaten guacamole twice and both times it wasn't made by me. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I never really touched an avocado. I see we only have one. So I'm gonna run to the store and get another one, I hope. And maybe some basil, cause I want basil in there. I don't know if that matches. I got the recipe from a friend of mine, how he makes it. Oh, look. Yeah, I don't have two things of this list. I don't have a parsley and a sour cream. So it's just gonna be garlic, salt, pepper, and avocado, and then some things I'm gonna throw in there. Uh, so thanks, Nielsi, for the list. We're gonna see how this works, but first I'm going to the store, because we ain't gonna have enough with this. I wanna make a dip for my cauliflower, but I don't know if I will have enough, but I only have money for one more. And otherwise, I'm just gonna make some toast and put it on there. If I don't have enough to dip. Yeah, you get my plan. I'll see you. <laughs> okay, hi. We're back. Uh, I got another avocado and basil. I wanted a basil plant so I can use it more than once. But they ran out of those. They had all, all those plants except for basil. So these are fresh leaves. So it's cool. We can manage. This is the other avocado. So now we have two. Let's get started, I guess. First gotta take off my coat. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Okay, keep in mind, I never done this. Don't come for me if it tastes weird. I just wanna try and add some flavors that I like. So we'll see if that works out. You feel me? Okay. As I've seen in a lot of things, there's this huge thing in the middle. We call it a pit, but I don't know what it is called in English. Okay, I feel it. So you go around it, I guess. Seems like the logical thing to do. I did something. What do you do? Twist? Oh yeah, you do. Okay. Also, is it just me? Or do the... Avocados in America look a lot bigger. Or is it me? Can you use these for something? Because they look cool. <laughs> I don't know what you would be able to use it for, but there must be another use than the trash. I feel like you just scoop that out of there. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. Guacamole shouldn't be that hard. So we're just gonna see. This one is a little less flawless, um, but okay. Okay, so uh, we did this. Just gonna grab a fork and mash it together. So a lot of people like to add tomatoes, uh, but I, I don't like tomatoes. Sorry, guys, I, I just, I don't. I do not like tomatoes in any way or form. I'm not strong enough for this. I don't know if this will work better. I'm just afraid that it will all pop out of the bowl. Is it supposed to be this hard? I thought guacamole was easy. I didn't know you needed power for this. Okay, this does work better than the fork. Then I want to add the de basil, of course, because I like it. First, gonna put some garlic in there. I don't have fresh garlic because there were they were also out of it. So it's a garlic powder. I don't know how strong it is. Quite strong. Like this will be enough, I guess. I'm just gonna take a few leaves and cut them up. It's well enough. Tell me if you're enjoying this, because I'm enjoying cooking. Oh, cooking. We're just adding stuff to each other. But tell me if you enjoy this, and tell me what you want to see in the future. Because I'm kind of at a creativity block, and I don't know what to do with my life. Of course, uh, we can't stir. Huh. 
Why is it not mashed? I'm so sad that I'm not powerful. I don't want to be a superhero, I just want to be average. Damn it. I've tasted the garlic powder and now all I can taste is garlic. I want to add uh, a pepper to make it a little spicy. Again, of course, don't want to die of spice. Then, of course, pepper and salt. Uh, but careful, not too much salt. Because I also want to add some soy sauce, which is very salty. So I'm just going to do like one or two grinds. One, two. This is black pepper. I don't like the white pepper. I always go overboard with pepper. Don't follow my instructions. Thank you. Okay, so a little, just a little soy sauce. Not too much. That's enough. Then I'm gonna add some zest. I saw Amelia Fart do this, um, but hers was more, uh, it was very different. So she used a lot of zest. I just want a little of zest to make it like fresher and then um, I don't have lime so lemon it is just a little and I'm gonna drink lemon juice after this so I don't need to waste this precious uh, lemon okay and now is the weirdest ingredient I don't know if people do this but I felt like I wanted mozzarella in here. I don't know why, just had a feeling and now I'm gonna do it. Uh, so if it sucks, I'll tell you. I'll tell you if it's not edible at all. But yeah, we're gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna take a plate because there's a lot of juice in here. I think you just do that and drop it. <gasps> oh, it just spilled a little. It's fine gonna clean my knife real quick just in case I already have enough and want to use this for something else you don't need quack on there again tomatoes would be great in this for people who like tomatoes to give it like an Italian vibe with the basil and the mozzarella and then a tomato but I don't like tomatoes so I'm just gonna see if this lives up to my expectations I'm gonna put the rest in a pot of the mozzarella so it don't go bad I also have some breadcrumbs with pesto in it I think I'm gonna add that because I bought them for pasta but I didn't use them all we're gonna see how that tastes Pesto, basil, mozzarella should be fine, I guess. I think we're done with the guac and I'm gonna use it as a slight dip for my cauliflower because I like cauliflower. And then I'm gonna make lemon juice out of this. I'll see you in a minute, I guess. And I'll tell you if it's good or not. Okay, hi, hello. I made some lemon juice, just lemon juice with some water and sugar basically lemonade. I have some cauliflower and I have me guac. You can see me. Okay, that's cool. Let's see how I did. Just gonna take a little scoop. So I have a little of everything. Cheese, a little pesto, a little basil. Just pack it on there and see what it tastes like. I don't know how to eat this properly. Mm. That's good. Okay, I keep apologizing in the video that I don't know what I'm doing, but I do know what I'm doing apparently. That's just good. A little spicy, but that's okay. And like the pesto thingies really add a lot of flavor. So maybe if you have pesto, like put a little half spoon in there or something. So it's not too strong, but like 
Damn. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I can confirm I'm a chef now. I deserve five stars in my restaurant. Mm -mm -mm. Except for uh, the mashedness of my avocados. I'm not strong enough on that. So that's the only staff I will be hiring. Just staff to uh, mash things because um, I'm not strong enough. For the rest, I'm a chef. Mm -mm. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Leave some suggestions down below that don't cost a lot of money because I ain't got no money right now. Yeah, that's it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.